Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to another close-up review. So this is of the Mystical Journey Oracle, Embrace Your True Path from Tennessee Carpenter. I hope that's how you pronounce her name. So this is a beautiful deck. I've actually had it for a couple of months, but it's been so noisy in my uh, apartment that I could not do a close-up review. But I love to show all the cards in the deck. There are 36 cards in here and we'll do a bonus reading at the end. But deep within your subconscious lies the answers to life's challenging questions. And this deck is designed to bring this knowledge into your conscious mind to be used as a healing guide to overcome internal and external conflict and embrace your true path. I love that. And we all contain limitless potential for growth and enhanced well-being. And let these cards empower and inspire you on your journey so you can discover the riches of life that await you. And these are paintings of Tennessee Carpenter. I hope it's Carpenter, not Charpenter. Charpentier? Oh, maybe it's Charpentier here. This is the, her last, the last name, Tennessee Charpentier, who is known as the artist visionary art by Messiah carry themes of spiritualism, mysticism, and inner awareness. So it's Tennessee Charpentier up in tier. Um, I hope so. Anyway, 36 cards in here, but Mystical Journey Oracle, Embrace Your True Path, and I love that um, message. And this is kind of that, you know, see how it's like sparkly silver? It's really pretty how it, uh, right here, it's almost like a foil. Okay, so 36 cards. We're going to go through all the cards. I have not looked at the cards. I put it to the side, and I've been meaning to do a close-up review of this deck. So look at that. Um, so you're gonna, there's silver gilding. Wow, very beautiful. You can also download. It's from Rockpool, so you can get the app. But they're free apps. Um, wow. I was not expecting this gorgeous iridescent foil almost like what's here the mystical journey um this is almost that iridescent see how you can see the rainbow it's iridescent silver beautiful and the guidebook so this is going to be a nice guidebook Ooh, energy shift divination meaning and the action i love when guidebooks are like that authenticity divination meaning and then the action well at the at compassion divination meaning and the action okay so i'm going to do a bonus reading at the end we're just going to go through all the cards taking back your power divination action oh use the symbol of the water lily as an encouragement to speak your truth and acknowledge how you really feel when you speak up you honor your soul and if you don't speak up you stay underwater and cannot shine your true light how gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going to go through all the cards and at the end I'll do a bonus reading. I love that guidebook. I love the tone of the messages. That was deep. I really resonated with that. Um, that just brought me back to periods of my life when I did not speak up at all. And actually I fall back on that <laughs> sometimes also. It's like you got to remember. Okay, growth. Oh, this is so beautiful and there's like this little uh, bud here. Growth. And they're numbered here. Self-care. How gorgeous is this card? Oh my gosh. And the waterfalls from the eyes here. This is exquisite. I love this card so much. I could look at this card for quite a while. Oh, everything just got so quiet around me. Oh my gosh, you have no idea how loud the construction is. And I'm just, just graced that I feel like this is self-care, being able to do this. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this card. I almost want to leave it out. Um, oh my gosh, how gorgeous are these paintings, New Dawn. Oh my God, these are elephants over here. The more you look at it, the more you see. This is peacocks. I see like, uh, oh my gosh, I love this card as well, New Dawn. These are exquisite. I have to tell you, the these are more beautiful than I saw. See these pictures here? Like this, that those little pictures did not do this justice. Um, sorry if I didn't even show the backs of the cards. I was just going right into the beautiful paintings. These are the backs of the cards. Uh, really beautiful, but wow. I mean, these paintings are really extraordinary, beautiful. Uh, cycles of life. You see the eyes here, the moon facets everywhere. And rose, this is exquisite. Cycles of life and the wings. Oh my gosh, I love this. Inspiration. I love how there's a keyhole here. It's interesting what you gravitate to in a card. Healing hands, how beautiful. Healing hands. Divine gateway. Oh my gosh, how 
gorgeous is that? Look at that. Divine Gateway. Inner Child. Inner Child. Oh, Awakening. Look at the expression on the face. Awakening. Oh my gosh. That is so beautiful. Awakening. Beautiful. You really get lost in the artwork. Manifestation. Gorgeous. You can almost feel the energy in this card. Rising up. Oh, how exquisite is that? Look at that. Rising up. It's almost like they're pulling you up. Energy shift. Beautiful. Authenticity. I love that. Resistance. Oh, I love how these are depicted. This is gorgeous. You really get lost in these cards. Resistance. Oopsie. And the cards are, are thick. You almost think you're holding two. Um, Self-realization. Divine being. Compassion. I love this card. It's like melts your heart when you look at it. Compassion. Beautiful. I love the shades in here. Something about it in person, it like melts your heart. I don't know if it's coming across in the camera. Universal mother. When I see the bird. Universal mother. Letting go. Beautiful. Letting go. Afterlife. I love these portals in these paintings. New beginnings. The path. Eternal self. Rebirth. Wow, these are, you like feel these cards. Being bound. Sanctuary. Redemption. That's what's on the cover, redemption. Redemption, redemption, redemption. Beautiful. Clearing your space, shadow work. These paintings are so pretty. Shadow work, resilience, connection, breaking free, rites of passage. Oh, look at that trust. What I always say on my channel, trust, trust, trust. Oh, how beautiful is that? Trust, trust, trust. Gorgeous. There's so much to look at in this card. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, taking back your power. I love this card. Look at her face here and her face there. I love it, love it. Taking back your power. How gorgeous. I love how things are depicted in the artwork. It's so gorgeous. I know I keep saying that, but it is so gorgeous how it like blends taking back your power so gorgeous life review wow life review wow that was 36 cards that was so exquisite you kind of get lost in the painting absolutely beautiful so these are the backs of the cards this is the silver gilding it's kind of like iridescent and the card stock is really good so now i want to dive into doing a reading for all of us right now what are the messages that want to come through for a bonus reading please don't let the construction start please <clears throat> let's take mystical journey oracle mystical journey oracle my goodness artwork was just beautiful i really got lost in it somebody told me it was like what do you do it this morning it will start your day in such a better way it was just nice to get lost in that artwork and i love the tone i can see already the tone of the messages is just beautiful so let's see what are the messages embrace your true path mystical journey what are the messages that want to come forth for all who may find this video for the bonus reading what are the messages that want to come forth okay it's getting it's going to be actually pretty particular okay 
mystical journey. What would be most helpful for our mystical journey? To, okay, two cards just came out. Let's see if there's anything else. Afterlife. Wow. Okay, two cards came out. We got divine being, letting go, afterlife. Oh my gosh. So you could be feeling this almost transition going on here right now. Divine being, letting go, afterlife. And I love that letting go card. We've been getting that a lot. So let's get into it. We're going to tap in and get the messages for this. So first we're going to get divine being. I love how it's starting off with divine being. Very easy to find in the guidebook. It's all numbered. So here for divine being, divination meaning never forget that you are a divine being and the situation you are going through is so you can increase the amount of light for which your soul can hold a space. We kept on getting that. Remember, hold your light. We're holding more light here. So never forget that you are a divine being and the situation you're going through is so you can increase the amount of light for which your soul can hold a space. You may be doing it tough and it feels so much more real when you are in your human body. You came to this earth to experience so many wonderful things, but with it came pain and dark emotions that only a human body can provide. You can make a difference here on earth, but you do need to be in a physical body to be effective. Give yourself the time to grieve a loss, the space to feel your emotions, and the grace to be gentle on yourself. You are going through a season of trial, but on the other side, look at the afterlife, on the other side is a lightness of being that could only exist if you have lived through hard times. Keep your spirits up by surrounding yourself with uplifting people, doing the things you love to do, wearing comfortable clothes, and eating nourishing foods. Don't ask too much of yourself at this time. If you feel fear or darkness around you, always look for the light. Turn your mind to kinder and happier thoughts and treat yourself as a precious object. Focus on and remain in your heart center, imagining a beautiful light filling the space. And the action is, as you repeat this mantra, visualize a gentle and healing blue light filling your body. When I treat myself with gentleness, I make myself stronger. I love that. When I treat myself with gentleness, I make myself stronger. It's almost like bringing tears to my eyes because that's a perfect summation of messages we've gotten before. But what a beautiful action. Repeat this mantra and imagine gentle healing, blue, blue light filling your body. When I treat myself with gentleness, I make myself stronger. It is so true. That is so beautiful. Wow, I love the tone of the messages. I love what was just conveyed. Um, I have chills because you have gotten that repeatedly, by the way, but this is just amazingly, um, I love the tone of these messages. I'm gonna say that over and over again because that just brought home messages we've gotten repeatedly in such a beautiful, beautiful way. Okay, so we have letting go. Divination, the heart of the woman depicted on the letting go card has experienced a loss as deep as the ocean. A small boat navigates its way around the swirling vortex in the sea, representing the profound hole you feel in your heart when you lose someone or something special. And the boat is filled with emotional baggage as it bravely tries to steer its way through sorrow. And the giant stone god in the background is screaming out his frustration. Look closely, for deep in the tunnel, deep in the tunnel, the pain and suffering pass through and you can see light and peace emerging deep in the tunnel. Wow, deep in the tunnel. Look closely for deep in the tunnel, the pain and suffering pass through and you can see light and peace emerging. The light is beckoning you to surrender and if you let go of your trauma, you will see that everything will be all right. The woman surrenders her pain to the light. Her sadness and sorrow have been truly felt and leave her body. The light symbolizes a shift in her life and a promise of better days ahead. And the emptiness she feels in her heart begins to fill with beauty and hope. And the stormy ocean waters around her become tranquil. She has navigated the turbulent waters of emotional turmoil and surrendered to a higher power. And the action is, 
Breathwork is a gentle yet powerful way to release emotions and fill your light body with fresh energy. Breathe in slowly for the count of four and then breathe out quickly to the count of eight. And then repeat this mantra, I surrender, I let go. Repeat this process until you feel calmness wash over you. I surrender, I let go. I surrender, I let go. So you breathe in for a count of four and breathe out to the count of eight. I surrender, I let go. So this is to let go, divine being, a process of letting go of everything we've been through. And here is the afterlife. The very next card, 19 to 20, afterlife. Wow. Your loved ones, <clears throat> this is a divination meaning. Your loved ones who crossed over before you bring you this message. The afterlife is not to be feared. It is full of healing, cleansing, and infinite love, a love beyond what any human can imagine. And all those times you have felt alone, insignificant, and helpless were just an illusion. And the afterlife card is a reminder that you are truly loved, that you are a powerful being, and your soul is magnificent. It is in death that the soul becomes truly alive and free from pain and misery. You are only ever temporarily affected by physical and emotional pain while you are in a human body. You never really die because you are an eternal being. Imagine what it is like to come here as a light being. You cloak your soul in what feels like many layers of heavy clothing that are confining and restricting. You are grounded by gravity and the low vibrations of earth and your desires are manifested very slowly. Results from your hard work are often only seen years and years later, if at all, which can be frustrating because as a light being, you are used to manifesting your desires instantly. With practice and patience, you can begin to bring your soul qualities to your life here on earth. Ask yourself what your soul mission on earth is. What did you come here to accomplish? It will be what resonates with you most and it can be the simplest thing. And the action is to help clear the way for your soul's mission. Connect with your ancestors and ask for their help in healing any lineage of trauma that has been passed through your bloodline. Start by healing yourself and as you change and heal, you will also heal your family. And in this way, the generations of suffering will stop with you because you were powerful and aware enough to clear any inherited trauma. Wow, that is really amazing. What also leaped out to me, which I was always getting, was this part of being so frustrated just being in the physical body that we are here. And you may have felt that and nobody really voiced that, but I feel like that's why so much is so frustrating. Um, where one of our biggest soul lessons is patience because we are used to things manifesting as a blink of an eye. Things are slow as molasses. It can be so painfully slow. Um, so this part about with practice and patience, you could bring, bring your soul qualities to your life here on earth. Um, the whole part that we feel very literally, imagine what it feels like to be a light being and you cloak your soul in what feels like so much confining, restricting layers of heavy clothing like our body and the gravity of it all. Not just gravity, but the gravity of the low emotions and the vibrations here. It is so difficult and it can be so frustrating that all your efforts take so long to manifest but they're saying with practice and patience you can bring your soul qualities to your life here on earth and ask yourself what your soul mission on earth is and what did you come here to accomplish and it will be whatever resonates with you most and it can be the simplest thing so they're saying to make way clear the way for your soul's mission and connect ask for help with your healing of any trauma passed down and you can heal yourself and as you change and heal you also heal the whole lineage because you are powerful and aware enough to clear any inherited trauma but i just love that 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 it embraced that message because it is so amazingly frustrating sometimes um but anyway, we got divine being, letting go, and the afterlife. I just want to say, should we get one more? I just love these messages so much. I just want to get one more. But I love that because it's almost inherent in us how frustrating it is to just even be here, to try and manifest things, to try to... It's, everything is so slow, the gravity, the weight of the world, and everything else. But I love that. 
that you're connected to all your loved ones past on your spirit guides and that was your message that you're connected to them clearing your space look letting go and clearing your space so i'm going to end it here with clearing your space let's see what they want maybe this is an action uh, action uh, they're ending it with like an action for us to do yeah <clears throat> clearing your space okay so this is like advice so this was the message and let's get some advice here clearing your space divination everything around you is humming with energy and every object person animal or plant you see is a collection of tiny particles that are all vibrating at a certain frequency and when you look at life in this way you can start to become more aware of the energy around you and whether or not it uplifts or diminishes you now the clearing your space card appears when it's time for some deep cleaning and clearing separate yourself from what no longer serves you and clear your physical space surround yourself with people who want the best for you and reciprocate it for it is time for a new cycle so this is what the message for this is like the overall message and this is the message you do now if you feel like we're ushering in a new time new year new era even though it's september i know it sounds weird but there's this is a recurring message so they're definitely bringing this home separate yourself from what no longer serves you clear your physical space surround yourself with people who want the best for you and reciprocate it for it is time for a new cycle and whether you're seeking positive new relationships a new home clarity prosperity be mindful that everything starts with the energy you surround yourself with and this includes people foster loving connections build alliances with like-minded people be true to your word honor your promises encourage others to follow your example Encur encircle yourself with loving streams of energy as the energy you put out into the world is what others feel on a subconscious level with this energy, you can start to create the life you want, attracting people and experiences that are good for you. <clears throat> My voice is giving out on this, but you could feel that you're being divinely guided to do this anyway before this reading. <laughs> I just want to say this is an action. And here's the action, quite literally. Choose a space in your home that needs to be cleared. Dedicate some time to going through the items in this area and see if they make you happy. Deeply clean this space and set your intentions to live life from a higher energetic vibration as you discard items that you no longer serve you. And these, this could be anything that's no longer serving you. So we're going into clearing your space for a new time, new era. So they're calling you divine being, letting go, afterlife, clearing your space, getting ready for a new cycle. Surround yourself with loving energy, positivity, and you could be discarding a lot of things in your life at this time to make way for the new. So this has been so gorgeous. This actually is more gorgeous than I thought it would be. The, I think the artwork is stunning. The tone of the messages are like so right on point. They're in line with everything I've been putting out on the channel, basically summing everything up. Mystical Journey Oracle, 36 cards to embrace your true path. Tennessee uh, Charpentier. I hope I'm pronouncing the last name correctly. Beautiful paintings. The tone of the messages are gorgeous. This is all embracing your true path, mystical journey, oracle. And I just thought the artwork stunning, but more than that, the tone, the messages are beautiful. Really beautiful. And uh, yeah, so this has been the close-up review. Hope you enjoy. Take care. Bye-bye.